Hello again, I am Blunty, and this is a Seagate Barracuda Pro hard drive. Those of you who watched me live stream my AMD Ryzen R5 1600X based build, or indeed watch the live stream replay right here on YouTube, you'd have seen me slam one of these right in there. You'll have also heard me praise the amazingly, brutally tough build quality that you'll notice the very instant you lay hands on one. I think I said something at the time along the lines of it feels like it was like, carved out of a solid billet block of aluminium. But yeah, as this is a video about a hard drive, it's not going to be very visually exciting, so if you don't mind, I'll go ahead and switch to some gameplay for a bit while I waffle. Now, Seagate positioned the Barracuda Pro as a high-performance desktop drive made for creative professionals and gaming. To that end, there are three vital needs it has to fulfill to have me satisfied. The first one is it has to be robust, and we already talked about the build quality, but as for ongoing reliability, well, these days Seagate have a very good reputation on that score, so while it's far too soon for me to be able to personally attest to the long-term lifespan of this drive, I'm not anticipating any issues. Plus, it comes with a five-year warranty, so half a decade of peace of mind, basically, and practically speaking, five years is commonly the useful active lifespan of a workhorse drive like this anyway. Alongside that, though, you get two years of data recovery service, so if you do get unlucky and the drive does manage to go kaplooey on you, Seagate have you covered when it comes to trying to rescue the data on there. The second need for creative pros and gamers is, of course, capacity. Those of us who work in video, or indeed those of us who play lots of AAA games, will know you can gobble up hard drive space faster and faster and faster as time goes on. And this drive, well, it's 10 terabytes. The number again, 10 terabytes. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Was that creepy or funny? I can't decide. Though the same drive is also available in 2, 4, 6, and 8 terabyte capacities as well. But the local Seagate team were lovely enough to realize that if you're going to show off a hard drive to a dude who has been working with video files for more than a decade, watching resolutions and file sizes swell and expand and grow, and seeing hard drive after hard drive after hard drive fill and choke on an endless amount of raw and edited video, well, clearly you're going to want to send them the fattest one you've got. So that's what they did. Finally, after robustness and capacity, there is one more thing that is very important if you do what I do, and that is spend some time talking into a microphone, as indeed I am right now at your desktop next to your PC. It has to be quiet. Most hard drives you'll find of this capacity are more likely to be server or NAS targeted drives, and those are great, super reliable, fantastic, woo! but they're not designed with low noise in mind, so they were and clickety-clack like the hard drives of old. And even some moderate capacity drives that are designed for desktop use are still a bit on the noticeable side. I wouldn't call them noisy, but noticeable. The 4TB WD Blue that I use in my main desktop rig, for example. Great drive, lovely, can't recommend it enough, fantastic for mass storage, but... I designed my rig to be as quiet as possible, again, because I record and stream at my desk. And although it's subtle, the WD Blue drive is literally the noisiest thing on that rig. I can easily tell without even trying whether it's spun up or not. It doesn't really interfere with my recording, usually, but it does bug me slightly. Well, the Seagate Barracuda Pro here, likely in large part because of its brutally thick shell, is very quiet quieter than the WD Blue. I had to put my head next to the PC case to listen for the subtle clicking and spinning when I was kicking its head in with some burn-in tests. It is, by the way, also noticeably quicker than my WD Blue. The Blue is 5200 RPM, the Barracuda Pro is a full 7200 RPM. Hooray! It's not a huge difference when loading games and whatnot. I mean, you certainly can notice, but it's not night and day. But if you're pulling around 4 or even 8K video these days, it's a difference you will instantly notice. Now, if you want a deep dive on artificial benchmarks and charts and graphs and things like that, you can find them online, but you're not going to find them here in this video because that's not how I roll. Frankly, there's only so fast a mechanical 7200 drive can go. And in my testing, the Seagate here performs as well as you can hope for for a spinning drive like this to do. It is very fast compared to other mechanical 7200 drives I've been familiar with, though. Uh, Seagate are using some clever clogs multi-tier caching tech. 
which apparently uses a combination of NAND flash, DRAM, and media cache technologies to optimize the data flow. I haven't dug down into precisely how they do that, but the only important thing for me is if it works, and it certainly seems to. You'll still want an SSD for your system drive and stuff to keep that nice and nippy, but the point here is the full package. It's built amazingly well, reliable brand, and of course the glorious spacious capacity. 10 terabytes! Makes me breathless. So, long story short, for me, it has actually been a while since I've had a Seagate drive in any of my systems. Not for any particular reason, it's not like Seagate ever let me down in a big way, but for the fact that WD drives were working great for me, so I stuck with them. But now that the Seagate PR folks have let me test what they're up to these days, well, that story's going to change. I absolutely want one of these in my main rig, and one of these in my Ryzen rig, and four of these in my Drobo for my backups. You know, if money were no object, I would certainly do that, because these are, by the way, also around 700 Australian dollars a piece. Whew. 10 terabytes, though. The smaller capacities are, of course, cheaper, starting at around 200 Aussie dollars for the 2 terabyte version, and the price per terabyte calculation gets better and better as you go through the range. But yeah, for my mass storage needs, the Barracuda Pro is now glued to my radar the next time I need to think about this, and it should be on yours too. They are really nicely impressive drives. So yeah, mechanical hard drives, a bit dull to look at and a bit nerdy to talk about, but super vital, essential even, for letting folks like me do the things we do, both on the video stuff and on the gaming stuff, and not feel like we're being dragged down by a chain of slow hard drives and tiny hard drives. Nice work, Seagate. Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.